I'm getting ready to go to the mall and I have to get my rings cleaned because I haven't got them cleaned professionally. So I'm gonna do that and then um, go from there. I didn't know if it was something I had to come back and pick up or if I could like come back or no, it's the same day. Why you wait? That's really cool. Okay. It's just an inspection. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Hey y'all, I was feeling <laughs> bald headed from earlier, so I put in my U part wig. I have a video on that if y'all wanna see my thoughts on it. It still holds up after all these years. Um, don't mind my closet. So I'm gonna go out to the grocery store and get some things that I need for the house. Here's my outfit for the day. I'm in the bathroom, so don't mind my mess. But yep, my shorts are from my outfit online. Shirts from Target, you've probably seen a million people wear this shirt. I'm gonna be wearing my New Balance sneakers. These are just my house shoes, cause I don't wear uh, shoes in the house. Um, normal jewelry, um, my ring is finally clean. I'm super happy about it. And my earrings are from Shein, Amazon, and my rose quartz ring as well. So yeah, let's go. Felt a little naked, so I'm adding some ankle bracelets to the look and the fragrance that I'm gonna be wearing today is Amber Vividor by Dossier. Um, I get so many compliments on this fragrance. Um, if you wanna try it for yourself, um, they got the scents, baby. When I tell you, they have the formula down packed. If you want something that smells like something else, just know you can uh, holla at Dossier and they can give you what you need. So they have so much variety and it's super affordable and they have sales pretty much all the time. I'm gonna be linking their stuff in the bio. Shout out to Dossier. You can spray as much as you want because it's not $300. I went a little hard with the red and a, So I gotta cover that up before we go outside cause yeah. I'm gonna be putting some moisturizer and some vitamin E oil on that cause that looks, looks like I have a goatee. That is a little bit better. Um, I'm just going to the grocery store, but yeah. Oof, I need to do something about this. And it's laundry day, so don't come for me. I wash my sheets every Saturday or every Sunday. Every week I wash my, my sheets, so don't come for me. Yeah, it says get get a free English muffin when you buy um, the apples, Gala apples. Apples. I'm really sucking at vlogging right now, and that's not me trying to be like negative or bash myself. It's just I'm not in the habit of trying to like do this all the time and i really want to try this but it's like it's kind of like what the hell so it is a new day <laughs> it is march 13th today is monday and today i have a laser hair removal appointment and then i also have um like some stuff that i'm trying to plan like some content i'm trying to plan it is my spring break so um, I wanna really use this time more purposefully. Um, I've been basically unloading the clip when it comes to putting shorts out on YouTube and it's really been working because I had 111 subscribers like at the beginning of last month and now I have 201, which is really cool and really exciting because um, I really wanna take YouTube more seriously. I've had this channel forever and I've just been so unmotivated in the past so I really wanna just put in more effort to not think about it and just do it. So this is me just doing it and it's still kind of weird. And I'm like, well, I wanna buy equipment and I wanna do all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this because my old MacBook, I've had that MacBook for literally 10 years. I bought it when I graduated college and it is so slow, but 
we shall see. I look really crusty right now. Um, I'm gonna wash my face and put some moisturizer on. I did get dressed. Um, I'm wearing my little, what is this? My outfit online shirt and one part of the set that I bought from Amazon. But I just need to get like razzle dazzled up. But I'm not putting on any makeup because I'm getting my laser hair removal today and they do my little mustache. And then I get a Brazilian and happy trail just to make sure everything down there is smooth. Um, so yeah, as far as laser hair goes, if it hurts, no. Um, I feel like waxing as far as pain is number one on the list. So if you ever gotten waxed, that's probably the most painful shaving is like the bottom. So it's in between shaving and waxing because every time you go, they have to increase the uh, laser on it like they have to like increase the intensity of the laser just so that way the laser actually gets the follicle otherwise it's not effective um, but they do like spray cool blasts on the area so that way you barely feel it but this like the sensation is kind of like a rubber band like slapping you and every time the light flashes it feels like a little slap um, and then you can like if you don't shave the area good enough you can literally like kind of feel the hair burning a little bit so that's why it's like shave the area. So because I'm courteous, I like to take a shower before I go. So I always shower in the night anyways, before I go to bed, cause I just don't like going to bed with a dirty butt. It's just not my thing. But um, whenever I go to get my like laser hair done and everyone's all up in my, my business, I like to take a shower just to kind of make sure things are clean. Um, but then I don't put on any lotion because you're not supposed to put on any lotion. So it's kind of weird because I feel kind of ashy, but it is what it is. But uh, yeah, I am going to take a shower in a couple hours. I'm just on YouTube watching some vlogs, getting some ideas, getting some inspo. And I just had, I already had my coffee. I already had my breakfast. I'm trying to make more of an effort to eat breakfast on the daily. Maybe I might record that more often, but we shall see. But my Monday's been pretty chill so far. I might see y'all before I go in to serve to get my laser done. So we shall see. See you later. I got my size, so I think I'm gonna get them. These are coming home with me. I'm getting these bad boys. French fry holders. French fry. This part is loose, so I need to twist that part to make it righty tighty lefty loosey. Okay, hold on. And why am I doing this with the car off? I am melting. Oh. Okay, AC, kick in, please. No, it did not just break off right now. I just want this to work. It's definitely not working now. This is why you read instructions. And I'm not even supposed to be in the sun because I just got my upper lip done. This is actually not that bad. This is actually not that bad. I'm gonna work with this. And if it drops, no, it's not gonna drop. Okay, I think we got it. I just wanna lift it up a little bit more. <sighs> Why am I like this? On my way home, I'm gonna get some Chick-fil-A. And if you're wondering why it doesn't look like I'm in a Jeep, it's because I traded in the Jeep. Um, the last video I gave an update, that update I literally posted back in 2022. So um, I got this new vehicle and it is an Audi Q5. I got it back in November 
and I like it so far. I like it very much. Very happy with the purchase. Um, I knew I wanted an SUV. I knew I wanted it to be um, luxury. So that's what I did. I got it. And manifestation works, y'all. If y'all don't think manifestation works, maybe you need to reconsider because it definitely works. I feel like I manifested this. Because, fun fact, this is actually the same type of car, even down to the color of what I drove when I got married the second time in Miami. And that's how I fell in love with the car. I was like, oh my God, this is it because of the fact that like, I'm used, I was used to the Jeep and then I got this and I was like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. And so I started looking in around July and then I pulled the trigger in November and I shot, I shot my shot and I hit the bullseye and got it. So, yeah. I was gonna get water burger because I'm starving and I want a burger. If you want a burger, get a burger. Um, but I'm gonna be good and get a salad instead. And then I gotta go home and walk my seat. My laser hair removal appointment was pretty solid. Um, they always give me in and out. But it's something about when I go there, I always have to wait. So I was late today and I still had to wait. But I can't charge them on that because their machine was down, one of their machines were down. So, and they had, everybody was in there. I guess spring break is like the time for people to go get the shit done because everybody and their mama was there. Um, so yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. I still got in and out like in 10 minutes. Like my appointment was at three. I got in at like 3.05, I checked in, it was 3.15, they saw me, and I didn't, actually I'm lying, it wasn't a 10 minute appointment, I got out at like 3.22, because I had to call Chris after that, um, so yeah, it was pretty straightforward, no complaints at all, this time change is eating my ass up, like, I'm so used to it being 3.30 right now, and the fact that it's almost 4.30 is like wild to me, but, what are we gonna do? This person does not see me at all. Check your blind spot, people. Check your blind spot. <laughs> Look how shaky that shit was. What? All right, it's not that bad right now. But we'll see. If the audio is solid and y'all can see me right now, I know I look really obnoxious with my sunglasses on, but it's because I'm always looking at the screen instead of the camera. So this is me trying to practice looking at the camera instead of the screen. But we shall see. And yeah. So I'm going to go get my food. And then I'm going to go home and walk the steak. I'll see y'all then. Order in the app because, yeah, I got to get my points. So now that I've put in my order, all is well. Yes. Thank you. I don't know if this is true or not, but someone told me that if someone like at Chick-fil-A doesn't save my pleasure and you check them on it, you can actually get your meal for free. I don't know if that's true. Y'all let me know if it's true or not. Because in that case, you can get a free meal. Because I've definitely gone to Chick-fil-A's. Sorry, y'all are cricket. I've definitely gone to Chick-fil-A's that have not said my pleasure. And I'm just like... But that's how you know I'm spoiled because... People don't do that at Popeyes. People don't do that at, at Whataburger. People don't do that at fucking, I don't know, Burger King. And they said you can have it your way. So I'm just like, what you guys say? You're welcome, my pleasure. I'm just waiting for my salad because I'm trying to be a good person. I really want a burger. Like there's literally, Whataburger is literally right next door, but I'm, I got a large drink, I got a large Sunjoy with extra ice, and I got a salad because Chick-fil-A's ice is just, like, I love Chick-fil-A's ice so much. But yeah. While we wait for my food, I guess I can show y'all what I got from Five Below. So I got this car mount that y'all are actually in right now for five bucks. I like it so far. Um, I gotta figure out how to tighten it, but I feel like the angle right now is not horrible. 
and the fact that my front camera can shoot in 4k is really good i got these slides and they're perfect because the bottom is like rubber but the top is like soft and they're my size and then i got some bedazzlement for my body body um they're only five dollars 5.25 i know it says five below but they got five above too i don't know if these charges in my phone i also have fetch rewards I got so many rewards when it comes to receipts. Like I gotta take pictures of my receipts. I document my expenses because I am a responsible adult and I overspend all the time. So when I keep track of it, it helps me actually do what I need to do. So I feel like once I put this on, they're gonna come out and then it's gonna be awkward. This guy's kind of weird. Should I be the black? Not the black, the blue? Be I feel like that's kind of childish now that I think about it because the whole point of getting this audio is to be like this is my big girl purchase but now that I got this little ring thing I'm like it's very childish of me indecision like me but I paid five dollars for it it's like why wouldn't I use it but I don't know what to use it for like the yeah push on the show but I could always take it off it was only five dollars. I know I keep saying that, but that's how they get you. It's only five dollars. No big deal. Yes. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Awesome. There you go. Thank you so much. My pleasure. See, they said my pleasure. They said my pleasure. Okay, y'all. I'm back at home. I'm eating my salad. When I tell y'all, these are so comfortable. These shoes are so comfortable. Like for five dollars. I was about to buy some like these off of Amazon for 15 and I don't even think they had the rubber bottom on there. So the fact that the inside is soft and the outside is rubber, highly recommend. Go pick you up some. I replaced my old slippers and I'm super comfy right now. So it is great. And I'm eating my salad. Got to finish eating my salad and then I'm going to walk Mystique. I'm just chilling on the couch. I just came back up and walking Mystique. Um, I was scrolling on Instagram and I think I found part of an outfit that I'm going to be going to a birthday party. So I'm going to my friend's birthday party in May and she has a very strict dress code. Um, and I really don't want to be looking like a fool when I get there because I don't know how people are going to be dressing. I'd rather be overdressed and underdressed. So, um, but yeah, I got one part of my outfit and I'm super excited about it. Um... At this point, I'm just going to be chilling for the rest of the day. I might take this wig back off because it's starting to hurt. I had it slapping on so I look like somebody. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to be chilling. So I'll see y'all later.
I was feeling like I was gonna spend the whole day inside and today is gorgeous. The sun is out. The weather is nice. It's not even 70 degrees. So I just wanted to go somewhere um, and just hang out. So that's the plan right now. I don't know where I'm headed, but we shall see. So just checking in because yesterday was a bit of a fail. Not in the sense of like doing anything. Like I had a pretty good day yesterday, a pretty chill day yesterday, but I didn't record any of it. <laughs> so it was just like, okay. I did, I was able to get a little bit of content for like my YouTube. I'm noticing like my shorts are still picking up, but I deleted the video that I was gonna post off of my phone and then I repost, like I literally recovered it from my phone and then just reposted it because I was like why am I deleting content like just unload the clip like unload the clip is gonna be okay so that was my moral not even moral compass that was just my like internal dialogue just going a little ham but it's gonna be okay it's gonna be fine we're gonna make it in the world but that's how my day's been going hopefully y'all's day's been going good because yeah, I need some joy. Yeah, I'll drop some joy down in my life because, yeah. Have y'all tried these Milani lip oils? Um, they're really good. The Milani lip oils are actually really nice. Um, I keep it here in the car because, oh yeah, I don't forget to apply it. And it's nice to just have lip gloss hanging out in your car, you know? I like it. This one's in a, a flavor. It says passion fruit coconut, and the flavor is actually like there's actually a flavor to it. It's a lip oil, so it's not really like a super crazy color. It's like a lip balm thing. But yeah, I'm just gonna drive around and figure out what to do with my life because yeah, I don't know how to take a break. So I'll figure that out and then I'll let y'all know what I end up doing. I think I realized I think I realized how I'm, why I'm feeling a little weird I just needed to get out of the house and my hair is not done I want to get my nails done my nails look they don't look that bad right there well you can see it growing out but I want to get my nails done I want to get my hair done and I don't know what to do with my hair so that's why I got my two my two old faithfuls and my hoops but yeah, it's just irritating, like, and I don't even know if I want the shape anymore. I feel like I want to go short and square. Like, I saw Lori Harvey have a really neat set, and it looked like her natural nails with a nice clear coat, just nice and sharp, like, polished. I kind of, I feel like I'm over this. Like, I feel like it makes my fingers look skinnier, but I just feel like I'm over it, and I don't really know what direction I want to go in when it comes to any of it, so that part's a little annoying but i know once i figure it out i'll feel better you feel me you feel me in the sewer yep you know a little vacuum cleaning thing where they suck out the poop yeah it's gross kudos to them to do it so yeah but i think i'm gonna go to the grocery store up the street right up here and get some stuff because I need some more paper towel I need some more toilet paper I want some croissants maybe I can make some I can't I learned that I can't drink coffee I can do matcha but I can't do coffee or at least not espresso so I tried to have espresso the last two days to be on my like healthy girl sorry to be on my healthy girl stuff and it felt like I was on crack I literally felt like I was on crack so I don't think I could do espresso as often as I normally do because I have like the espresso pods that go into the Nespresso machine at home. And I felt like a barista. I felt like I was I felt like I was whipping it. Like I felt like the drinks were coming out good. They they taste really good. And I was even doing like the sugar-free um the sugar-free hazelnut flavor. But even then like I still felt jacked up. Like I felt like I was going ham. So yeah, we're gonna put a pause on the coffee and we're gonna switch back to the tea. 
do I want a pack of croissants or do I want something from Common Bond? Because they do have the hibiscus lemonade that's actually pretty. Mm, I think that's what I want instead. So I'm gonna get toilet paper, paper towel from here, and then I'm going to go get a croissant and a hibiscus lemonade from Common Bond and call it a day. The only thing that I absolutely hate about this HEB is their parking lot. Like, why do I have to play musical chairs with the parking spots if I want to park outside? Like, everybody loses their mind trying to park out here. And I don't understand why. Like, there's parking literally right here. Like, okay, yep, that's where I want to park. I'm confused. Okay. I guess you figured it out. Now I gotta straighten myself out. That's one thing I do love about, because I used to hate parking in forward because I didn't know if I was in the lines and I just felt awkwardly parked. But now that I have this camera above me, it's so clutch and I can tell where exactly I need to park. Oop. Not me trying to crash. <laughs> but see what I mean? Like, I'm in the lines, kind of. The struggle though. There's a weird chemical smell that's outside and it literally makes me just want to stay indoors. It's very alarming. Like, it's noticeable. And the more people I see wearing masks, uh, it just makes me like, want to shut down. I guess find something to watch. Cause I already finished you. You surprisingly wasn't that bad. I was gonna I was kind of hesitant because of how people were talking about it and it was kind of annoying how they split up the season into like two parts like the first chunk was like earlier last month and then this last chunk was like this month so I took my time watching it because I just didn't feel the need to like watch it I'm just like I wasn't like ooh, let me go watch it like I was the other seasons it's kind of crazy how like 2020 has really made us want to go watch stuff Whereas like now that 2020 is not 2020, you know, it's 2023 now, it's like people aren't really watching TV anymore like that. Like, I don't really find myself watching TV as much as I used to. Like I still like to watch TV, but I like to be out more compared to how it was before. So, for obvious reasons. I really gotta figure out how to make my car mount stop shaking. But I'm just gonna eat this in the parking lot real quick because I'm hungry and yeah. <laughs> the croissant is croissanting. You're not depressed, all you need is bread. That's all you need. I didn't make the rules. It's weird though because I always find myself feeling weird around this time of the year. And I never know why. You know they say seasonal depression kicks in more like when there's looks less sunlight and stuff like that. But I'm like I be feeling weird when it's bright and beautiful outside. Like, I don't think that's normal. I don't think that's normal at all. But here we are. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish eating this croissant, drink this tea, and go home. All right, y'all, I am in bed. I have showered. I have done my skincare routine. I have put on my Latisse. My hair is in my bonnet. I had a nice glass of wine. I've been watching YouTube, just chilling in bed. Chris is in the shower. Um, so waiting on him. That's the only side effect about Latisse that I'm noticing is that my eyes get so itchy afterwards. I try not to scratch it, but I feel like it's been working pretty well. You probably can't tell because this is the front camera. But hey, you can see those. Okay, okay, lashes. All right, anyways, I just wanted to say 
good night. Um, I'm going to journal real quick and drink some water because I'm filling this glass of wine and go to bed. So, good night. She is. She's our sweetheart. She's like, good like me. It's hard to find. Hard to find your holes. That's what he said. <laughs> oh, God. All right. That's in. Necklace on. Ring. All right. For fragrance, I think I'm going to wear the teak. Go song. I'm wear the perfume, though. They give me so many samples that I just keep them all and just stock up. I'll eventually buy the real fragrance once I actually run out of these samples. But I do buy their candles, though. So. All right. There we go. Hey, y'all. So here we are again with my shaky mount. Oh, my God. I got to figure this out. Is that better? It's so gross. And yeah, um, I'm gonna go get some boba tea. Then I'm going to go to the grocery store because I want to get, because as you guys know, I'm taking Latisse. I'm doing the Latisse um, eyelash serum to grow my natural eyelashes out. But in the meantime, I've been using Foscara when I do my makeup. Um, and it makes my eyelashes very crunchy. And I have oil at home that I use to basically remove it, but um, I'd rather use the remover that actually they make. So I'm going to go to the grocery store because the grocery store that I have at H E B, they have it there. And I have it there for pretty cheap. So I'm going to go get that. Go get the bubble tea. I'm going to go check my P.O. box. And deal with this gloomy ass weather. It's just the kind of weather that like gets rainy, but like the kind of weather that's like, it's like, like super misty. So it like gets your car dirty, but it doesn't actually rain like it's just gloomy and it's a little it's like if someone were to spit on you like that's what this rain is like this is like spit rain but yeah anyways today is thursday i want to say i don't remember i think today's thursday but um i got a lot planned this weekend i have to help my friend not help my friend but i'm gonna join my friend at a bridal extravaganza because she's getting married i'm super excited about it and i got a brunch to go to so me and some friends are gonna go to catch up kick it so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna wear for that day because that's all in the same day so i gotta figure out how to join all of the things at once it's funny how i don't put anything on my schedule and then it starts to fill up so i'm not mad at it but that's kind of why i don't put anything on my schedule because I know I'm gonna have something to do eventually. And in the time that I don't, I just appreciate having downtime. So, yeah. But I will see y'all at my favorite boba tea place. The lady there is so nice. Um, she's, she's been there a couple times. Every time I've gone, she's gone there. I don't know her name, but she's super sweet. She complimented me on my fragrance and I was wearing it. I was like, does he look at you son? Um, and she was like, okay, cool. But yeah, I'm gonna go get my, my um, boba tea and I'm gonna see y'all later. So yeah, I'm gonna listen to some music because I'm vlogging on my phone and that's one of the things that's kind of annoying. It's like now I have to listen to the radio. I haven't listened to the radio in a very long time. I usually always listen to the, my Apple music on my phone. But now that I'm vlogging on my phone because I don't have a vlog camera yet, um, it's interesting because I don't have any music to listen to and that's like my, my thing like I always gotta drive to some music so um, I'm gonna listen to some music on the way over there and then get my tea and go and go to the store and go from there so I'll see y'all later part of me feels like I should go to the grocery store first and then get my tea so that way I can just drive around and enjoy it you know so I think I'm gonna go to the store first and then get my tea after because it's like two blocks up because the grocery store is right there and then the tea place is up here so i'm gonna look around get my stuff and then and then go to get the tea place yeah that's the plan we shall see 
see if I, I don't know when I'm gonna get a vlog camera. Like, cause I'm in my head, I'm like, you can shoot 4K on your phone. Why do you need a camera? But it would be nice to have something just dedicated for vlogging. Cause I do have another camera at home, like a big Canon, like a DSLR camera. Um, but it would be nice to just, but it would be nice to just have a small camera while I can still use my phone. Cause if someone were to text me right now, this would stop recording and that would be very annoying. And yeah, I want this to be an enjoyable experience and I feel like that would make it more enjoyable. But question is, when will I get my camera? Cause I've, I've told myself I'm committing to this. So there's no turning back now at this point. So. All right, I'm going out. I'm going out. I want the world to know. Don't hit me. All right. So I'm going to park and go in, go out, see if they have it. Because last time I came here, they had it. So I'm hoping they have it. But we should see. I always like parking on the roof because it's easier than going down into the dungeon. Even though it's raining right now. It's actually not raining. Like it's very scattered, isolated, scattered, all that jazz. It's just gloomy, um, which I really don't mind. Weather like this makes me just want to get snacks and find a scary movie to watch and just chill at home. And I have yet to go to the gym. Like I tell myself, oh yeah, as soon as spring break starts, I'm gonna work this body out. Things are gonna be great. And I just haven't had the motivation to work out like at all and my clothes aren't fitting any worse or like I one thing I have been doing and I will credit myself is I have been more conscious of the food I eat that's one thing that I've been more conscious of because I want to you know look better I want to slim down but I just haven't been motivated working out which is gonna be a challenge for me but we shall see because I right now I feel like going to in there and getting some snacks so I'm probably gonna go in there and get some snacks. There's some healthy ones, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm starting to sprinkle again. Lord Jesus. This is annoying. All right, let me go in there real quick and get out. Oh, Lord. All right. Oh, don't blow my wig away. Don't blow my wig away. Okay, I'm at HEB. Let's put it in the nail section because the nails are super cute and I might think about doing my own nails again. But I don't know yet. It's just so expensive going to get your nails done and it takes forever. And if you mess if your nails get messed up, you gotta go back and get it done. So it's it gets really annoying. But I think I'm gonna get this remover right here. This remover right here. They usually have a remover up here, but they don't. I'm gonna get this one. That rain is annoying. Now I feel irritated because I got caught in the rain. So, yeah, that's annoying. Hand sanitizer. Cool moment though. I saw the lady at the cashier. The I always do self checkout. I just I don't have a lot of things. I'm not gonna bother people with them checking out my stuff. So I went self checkout. And she had me use a uh, coupon because the coupon wasn't working. So I was like, hey, does this still work like for this? Because it's technically makeup, like it's in a makeup category. It's literally in the makeup section of the store. And I had a makeup coupon. And um, I was like, hey, would this work for this? And she's like, yeah, I got you, I got you. And I'm like, perfect. So uh, she ringed me up and got me going. And she's like, oh my God, I like your necklace. And she was talking about this. And I was like, I like your ring. It looked like tiger's eye almost. And she was like, oh, earthbound, earthbound. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. I think she was talking about the store. So she just kept saying earthbound. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. But yeah, that was a cool moment. But to balance out my cravings, because I did get some chips, I got some plans. And I got some makeup remover because I don't have the one for Falscara, the Falscara remover. Um, so what I did is I got the oil, the oil free remover. Is it oil free or? I don't know. It's just a, 
it says makes false lashes like new lash purify so we'll see if it's actually good um and then i got some mango watermelon and strawberry to balance out the funyuns so i don't feel as guilty eating funyuns you know are we beefing with chris brown like I don't, I don't understand what's going on with Chris Brown. Like every, some people don't like him. Some people like him. Like I don't understand it. Like we're, I don't get it. I don't keep up with things anymore like I used to. Like I really used to keep up with all the celebrity gossip and all the shit and all the tea, but I really don't. So what's going on with that? <laughs> Cause I don't have a problem with him and I still like that song, the Under the Influence. So I don't know. Let's see what's on the radio. Uh, we're going to get into the black urine news this hour. The FDA, they approved some nasal spray that helps people like me that get migraines. And wait till you hear how quick it relieves the pain. I am mm. very, like, That's curious about this because I have a lot of friends who suffer from migraines. And, um, I have to go to you Smith. know, they say that this is Smith a Center. thing, so we should see. I'm going I'm to ask my, my, uh, my Dr. My Smith my at Smith Center. He helps with migraines. He does the um the surgeries for that. It's the Amanda Seal show. On 97 9, the box. That's interesting. I love Amanda Seals, but I never thought that she'd have her own show locally here in Houston. Like obviously she probably is centered somewhere else and then they push it out elsewhere. I literally just heard the song on the other radio station, sorry. No shade to Normani, but I literally just heard that song. That's one thing I wish Houston radio would get with the program on like let's play some newer songs like these songs are washed at this point like I want some new stuff like I literally hear mashups on TikTok and that's how I get my music fix now or I'm listening to my Apple music so yeah it's just like what is this the st status of our radio now like it's raining it's gross I look he don't want to leave the car again to get um because again it's the spit rain it's the rain it's like the little drizzle you know why does snoop dog bring an umbrella so um that's annoying but i'm gonna go get some tea and then i'm gonna go home because it's gross outside it sucks that i wasted this face i don't really feel like i wasted this face because honestly the makeup really um boosted my confidence a little bit like I feel a lot better you feel better when you look better right so I feel a lot better I'm debating if I should get my nails done tomorrow because I'm definitely not getting them done right now because this weather no definitely not but I'm debating if I should get them done tomorrow I saw one of um, a nail tech that I follow nails by Ethan when he had some appointments available and he had an appointment available tomorrow so I'm like that might work for me especially since I got some things to do this weekend so I can have some fresh nails, I can have my makeup ready to go, I can keep wearing this U-part wig, and be good. But, yeah. I might have to rock out my curly one. Because when it's raining and gross like this, that's usually what I do. So that way I don't have to keep putting heat on my hair. I don't actually put heat on my hair. I just part it. I've stopped wrapping my hair. I just put my satin bonnet on it. And I don't think I like doing that. Because at first I liked wrapping my hair because of the fact that, um, like, it keeps it, you know, keeps the body in there. It keeps it nice and smooth. But when my roots get really, really puffy and my new growth starts to come in, because I am relaxed, when my new growth starts to come in, it starts to get a little crazy. And I don't like wrapping my hair because I feel like that's over manipulating my hair. And you start to notice when you see like the breakage on the ground like when you're combing your hair and you look down on the ground and you start seeing the little pieces i'm like yeah time to protein treatment up trying to get my motion moisture back up and get with the program because that's just not cutting it so i have been wrapping my car wrapping my car what am i talking about i've been wrapping my hair it is raining y'all like i really wanted tea but now i really don't suddenly i've lost the the appetite for tea maybe i can go to chick-fil-a because again i like their ice i don't want to go to chick-fil-a though but i do need something to eat like food but what has a drive through i'm already here anyways what was i talking about
Oh yeah, my hair. I've been wrapping my hair as much because of my roots and I don't wanna wrap my hair too much because when I wrap it, I literally go around in a circle and me going around in a circle with the tools that I use, like my comb and my brush, I feel like sometimes causes excessive breakage because of the fact that my roots have grown out and that line of demarcation is very, very delicate for me. Um, Cause I've been trying to like transition out from hardcore relaxer to kind of like a text lax texture. Like I wanted to have texture so that way I can still manipulate it and do things to it. Cause when I do my twist outs and my braid outs and I've even done a perm rod set and shit just looked wonky. It just looked weird. Thank you. Um, it just looked weird. And I was just like, I, I can't do this. Like everybody wants me to do the natural look. I personally love the natural look, but the natural look, I feel like society's natural look isn't really natural. You know what I'm saying? Like people like curls, but they don't like natural. And if you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like, people love the, you know, the the vibes, the curls, the waves. But I've never seen someone give praise to, like, afros. And that's interesting that I think about it. Me personally, because um, I know people are probably going to come from my neck talking about hair or whatever. But I really don't care. Me personally, I like it all. You rock what you want to rock. Rock what makes you feel comfortable. I'm not really... This parking lot is a shit show. Offer some. This tea better be slapping, bro. This tea better be the greatest thing ever. But yeah, that's my little two cents about hair and stuff. Um, it is what it is. I mean, I used to get sew ins all the time. I used to go to my girl Sierra's shop all the time and get sew ins and uh, wigs sewn on. Cause she was. She was a bundle queen, okay? Like, you want to get your bundles taken care of, you talk to her. She going to get you. She going to get you right. Um, but then I moved. I was further away from Par Pearland because she was in Pearland at the time. I really don't know where she's located now. But, yeah. she. I moved. She's further in Pearland. Just life started to happen. And I just stopped going to see her. It wasn't really me like cheating on her or anything. Like, you know when people feel guilty for cheating on their stylist? Like, I really wasn't cheating on her, I swear I wasn't. Like, whenever she like has her post on her social media and stuff, I'd be bigging her up. Like, I love seeing her do that shit because she's so talented. But it was just like life and things are happening and I just couldn't go to her, sit in her seat, so. It was really one of those things. And plus, I get in my little kicks to where I'd be wanting to be like, oh, I could do this myself. Granted, I can't. I cannot do this myself. I cannot do this myself. Girl, I'm not even close to the curb. Okay. I cannot do this myself. However, um, I just be on my little kicks and shit. Like, when COVID happened, like, I wasn't getting my nails done. Like, I was like, oh, I can, I can do my nails. And, like, I learned how to do my nails so much more better. But it's just something about going and getting your nails done. It's just something about going and getting your hair done. It's just, when you have someone that's a professional that knows what they're doing and they do it so flawlessly, it's just like, it's, it's untouchable. But yeah, that was my little rant. I'm gonna go get my tea and then I'm gonna come back and go from there, so yeah. Say it one more time. No, that'd be it. Okay, thank you. It is literally raining. No longer spit rain, y'all. It's actual rain. Yeah, I got my matcha, brown sugar matcha with boba, tea espresso bar. Y'all are in the next area. Y'all want to check it out? It is so good. And it's funny because when I go, no one's there. And then I show up, everybody's there. It's like literally timing is impeccable. Like I get there and no one's there. I literally was the first one to order and I got there and like three other people showed up. And I'm like, damn. Room spray. Um, well, oh, excuse me. That was gross. Um, my room spray I use for my car because this thing is cute and all. But it only lasts for so long. I still have the charge thing for it, like the little thing that goes inside of it. But it just don't be smelling good as long as I would like. So I kind of have this for decoration at this point. It looks cute. 
and I just spray the room spray when I want it to smell a little bit stronger. But it's raining. Y'all see that? It is raining. Okay. So we're going to go home. We're going to go home and we are going to um, chill for the rest of the night. Night. Rest of the day. I'm not going to the post office. Not in this. Absolutely not. I'm going to find something to watch on TV and um, just chill from there. Probably, I might actually work out. We shall see. Probably not. I'm saying we shall see like my mom and it's, it's starting to trigger me like I realized when I would ask her to do things or ask her for things and she'd be like perhaps that would literally drive me insane I would literally lose my mind when she would say perhaps like what does that even mean mm, that's good see now I'm mad because I realized it was raining and then as soon as I had the tea I realized I was hungry and I think it was the act of actually chewing something that made me more hungry and I don't want to go to Chick-fil-A. I don't want to go to Whataburger. So I'm going to go get a taco. And the only place I could think of that had tacos would a drive through because I'm not leaving the car anymore. Excuse me, is a taco stand. So I'm just like, I guess I'm going to the taco stand as soon as this traffic goes. And it sucks because I literally just left Shepherd. I literally was right there. And I got to drive all the way back. Not all the way back, but... My indecision is driving me insane. And I was like, ooh, tacos sound good. So I'm gonna get some tacos and go from there. Quesadilla. What? I'm holding up the line. Let me move, let me move, let me move. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That'll be it. It will be 15 13. Thank you. pleasure <laughs> I need to keep track of that how many people say my pleasure that's so funny <laughs> her nails look nice I like her nose but yeah the taco stand is a sister company with a burger joint <clears throat> if you're from Houston at least I think so they have the same kind of decor and whenever you go to the burger joint on Shepherd, they have taco stand cups. So I'm just like, same company. <clears throat> also, I'm excited about moving. Me and Chris are moving in June. Our lease is up. We've been in that apartment for a long ass time. We've been in there since 2017. And the only reason we moved there is because his car got stolen at the property that we were at before. And funny story, his car actually got stolen at the property we're at, um, living at now but he just recently got his car so all is well uh, it was a wild time back in the back in the day it was a wild time we're gonna be moving in june and i'm super excited because it just screams elevation it's nice when you can move into a new fresh place with nicer amenities and i'm not quite at house yet like house takes a lot of commitment and me and chris really like living in the city like we really like living central like we live pretty much next to the galleria and um <clears throat> we like living very central but i know if we were to get a house the kind of house that we would want we have to be either willing to live like f fucking far <laughs> or have to be millionaires multi-millionaires and we're working towards the latter at this point but in the meantime, we're just gonna get the apartment. Maybe I need to get some rings for my fingers. My nails don't look that bad though. That's why you get like tips. You don't get the whole thing painted because if you got the whole thing painted, you could see what I actually need to get done. But anyways, I wonder if the, yeah. That's why my hands get so dry because all the hand sanitizer. But I don't want to be a dirty, a dirty one back at home now as you can see it is gloomy I dropped off my stuff and I'm gonna say hi to my pup hey you sneaky hey mama hey <laughs> oh my boo bear hey baby hey now I gotta wash my hands I can eat
I got my tacos. Let's rate it one through 10. So I'm gonna put y'all here real quick. Um, just so I can eat. I got chips and queso. I'm not gonna eat the chips. I'll probably save the chips. And my, put, my pants are unbuttoned because they're high-waisted. And nobody got time for your pants to be, you know, going in your stomach when you're sitting and you're comfortable at home. Mind your business. All right, so I got my queso. It is so dark, but I really don't care. Um, and then I also got my quesadilla. So I got the queso for the quesadilla. Um, this is what it looks like. It's about to. All right. Move my chips to the side. And we're going to rate this one through 10. I don't know what I th was thinking, thinking that that boba tea was going to hold me over until tonight. Sometimes I'm hungry and sometimes I'm not. Here we go. Mm-hmm. No. So yeah, I got the whole day to myself. I might get my nails done tomorrow. I haven't really decided if I am or not. But yeah. I think the thing is the person that I want to get my nails done, he's like no short designs, no short nails. And I'm like, but I want my nails short. Last a lot longer. Whereas this other place that I go to, I get my nails done through them. And I think no, I don't think. I got my nails done in February. This is how my nails look, even though my nails have been done in February. It's not focusing, but you get it. Like there's a little bit of growth. And that's it they haven't broken off my shape is for the most part pretty solid it's just sometimes it depends on the nail tech you get they're rude ciao it's it's a mess but the nail techs do good work so it's the pros and the cons i guess but anyways i'm gonna figure out if i'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow i'm gonna tear up this quesadilla watching tv and just chill for the rest of the night so yeah maybe tomorrow it literally wasn't raining until me and mystique stepped out and then it started to rain and as you can tell i got rained on you could probably hear the rain right now so i'm gonna take a shower i'm gonna wash my hair and go from there yeah just a hot ass mess like do y'all see this like you see this right it's your fault it's your fault, Mystique. It's like you timed it. You timed it perfectly. You okay? <laughs> I'm just playing, Mystique. I know I wouldn't do that to you. Thanks. Thanks for shaking your body off on me. I appreciate that. But yeah, I'm going to take a shower. Take off this makeup. And get my life back together. Hey, y'all. All done with my hair. I just blow dried it after uh, deep conditioning it and what else did I do? Yeah, I just blow dried it. Um, blow dried it once with my Denman and then once again with the roller, um, the rolling brush, the, the blow dryer brush, the bristle, the bristle brush, brush, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, now I'm gonna chill on the couch, find something to watch, got my pajamas on <laughs> and just chill for the rest of the night, so. I'll see y'all tomorrow, then good night. Good morning. As you can tell, it is gloomy outside. And I gotta walk this dude. I really don't want to. Let me show y'all what I'm wearing. So, I'm just wearing this set. Um, but a glad set, Grind Like a Doll. Um, Dolly in Houston, Texas. She makes really great athletic wear. Very buttery, smooth, very compressive. This is the set. It comes with a sports bra and tights. And yeah, super cute. Uh, I don't know. I gotta do something about that. <laughs> like, I love my legs. I love my butt. But if my stomach was just four inches, just give me four inches off of my stomach, I would be such a happy camper. I am basically binge watching Harlem and then I'm gonna start Swarm and I'm gonna drink some water and um, 
eat some fruit after. So that's my day so far. I'm gonna be chilling here for a while, so. As y'all can see, the sun is out. I am going to get some food and then I'm gonna go back home and watch some TV. Um, it's like three o'clock. I like to walk the steep around four, just that way she has her walks in. Um, and it's cold, like it's 55 degrees. Like that rain that happened this morning literally dropped the temperature by 20 degrees. Welcome to Houston. So I am going to get some food, go back home and chill. But I've just been chilling. I drank some water, I had some fruit. Uh, I did a little bit of working out. I still have my waist trainer on. I don't know if it's doing anything, quite frankly. I'm still eating like crap, so there's that. But yeah, I might do some more working out today just to get used to moving around again because I don't know, I'm so weird. Like either I'm eating great and not working out or I'm working out like, like a drill sergeant and eating like crap. Like if I could just do both at the same time. I remember one time I did that like back in 2017 that was a long time ago back in 2017 i actually did that and i lost like 10 pounds in in a month i think it was a month or three weeks or something like that but i was determined and plus birth control like it i don't know what i had going on but birth control made me gain 30 pounds and ever since then i was just like no no more birth control bye bye birth control um so like I was on it for a year and then I, I got off of it and I was just like, yeah, never again. I've decided on my um, next move regarding my nails. I wanna get a Russian manicure. And I know that sounds so fucking trendy. And honestly it is, it's me being trendy. But I wanna see what, what the girls are talking about. Like I wanna see, I wanna see what the fuss is about. And it's so expensive, but I love how it makes their cuticles look and my cuticles are going through it and acrylic is only good for so long and i know they have either gel overlay or gel x so i feel like these are too long at this point like my hands are always going to be ashy that's just the reality that y'all are going to have to accept i have lotion in, in the back seat but i don't really feel like putting it on so it is what it is we're family now so y'all watching me be me Hey y'all, y'all didn't miss anything last night. I literally just chilled for the rest of the night. Me and Chris got some pizza. And yeah, now what I'm doing right now is getting ready to go to Tomball basically to pick up Chris's tags because I'm being a nice wife. I'm being a good wife and um picking up his tags because he's at work right now. Cause he actually got a new car as well. And his tags are in. So I'm gonna go pick those up. I don't know why that cracks me up so much. No airbags, we die like real men. <laughs> Equipped with a millennial anti-theft system, which is just a stick. <laughs> I'm back at home now after a fiasco. So I went and got the tags, that wasn't an issue. That was actually very easy. And then I went to get some food and I was feeling like Pokeworks. So I went to go get Pokeworks and they, sometimes restaurants have like signs that say, hey, this parking spot is for Pokeworks. This spot is for whatever this business is. So I parked in the spot that said, hey, this is for Pokeworks. I went in to go get my food, no issues, right? I'm leaving Pokeworks and someone parks right next to me. I'm not talking about like a regular park right next to you type of thing. I'm talking about like, I can't open my door. So, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating either. It was literally so, I was trying to open my door and I couldn't, they were that close to me. So I'm looking and I'm walking around like, who the hell thought this was a good idea? And then I'm looking and I'm like, who? like some guy comes out of the restaurant cause the person that parked next to me actually parked in a spot that was for Pokeworks. So I'm like, okay, they must be in the restaurant. So I went, I went and I was waiting. I'm looking, I'm like, hey, is this you? Like, cause some, well, someone walked out and I'm like, hey, is this you? And then the guy was like, no, no, it's not me. And he's like, are you trying to get in your car? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that sucks. And he's like walking away. And I'm like, I know. And as I'm saying that, because the Pokeworks has a Target right next to it. 
there's this white lady that comes up and it is what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna call her a Karen. I don't know what the lady was. I just knew that I was really pissed off because she was shopping at Target, not at Pokeworks. Not only was she shopping at Target, not Pokeworks, she parks right next to me knowing damn well I can't get in my car. And then had the nerve to put comfortably put her groceries up. And I'm just sitting there like, where the cameras? Because you know damn well you need to be putting your shit up a lot faster than that because I got somewhere I gotta be. I don't really have somewhere I have to be. But she doesn't know that. And the reality is like, how privileged must you be that you think it's okay to just simply, I'm standing right next to you because I'm standing next to my car, which is right next to you because of how damn close you are to my car. And you just think it's okay to just comfortably put your groceries in the back seat. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was that close. I'm like, yeah, I can't open my door. I can't open my door. So I'm standing there by my bumper trying to get into my side of the car and she's just like putting her white claws in there, putting her fucking paper towel in there. And I'm just like, and then she finally backs up. And I'm like, as soon as her car backs up, I open my door and get in the car and reverse and go home. And I was just like in shook. Cause I'm just like, you knew you was in the wrong, but like, and I was proud of myself because I literally, I didn't give her any problems. Like I could have, I could have been in that. I could have really lit her ass up. I could have gave her the smoke, but I didn't. I was, I was just like, is this your car? And she's like, yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was that close. And then I was just like, I'm trying to leave. And that's all I said. And I just stood there and I waited. And it probably took, it probably took her like, two minutes or so to put her groceries in the car but I was just frustrated because I'm like I'm trying to go and you're parked in the wrong spot but you're you're just like comfortably moseying along putting your groceries in the car I was like y'all were really that privileged huh like y'all think the world you never mind but anyways that was my little fiasco I'm back at home I got my pokeworks I'm gonna finish the last episode of Harlem and then I'm going to start Swarm because I've kind of been avoiding it. Like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I know Donald Glover and some other creators of Atlanta are a part of it. So I'm really excited to see what it's about. But I don't want it to be insulting because I feel like I am a fan of... Anyways, it's like a satire kind of deal, like dark humor kind of deal. And I'm all for good dark humor. I love a good dark humor. But I don't know. I don't feel like I'm a feel a kind of way about this show. But I'll let y'all know what I think once I start it. But as Harlem goes, Harlem is cute. It's one of those shows that just gives you nostalgia, like 90s girlfriends type vibe. Like Camille or Megan Good's character, Camille gives me Joan. Like she's Joan through and through when it comes to this show. And it's just like, there's four of them. They're all black women. They're doing their own things. They all got their individual journeys. Um, so it's like a story we've seen before. So it's kind of like, oh, it's cute. Like, I'm not like, oh my God, I need to see it. Like I, the show's been out and I'm just now binging it. Cause I didn't want to wait every week for a new episode to come out. Cause I felt like they weren't premiering every episode all at once. And I didn't want to wait. So I was just like, let me just finish it once it's all uploaded and then I'll go from there. So I'm on the last episode and um, then I'm going to start Swarm. So I'll see y'all later. See, this that shit I'm talking about right there. Like, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. Okay, y'all, I'm going to be going to brunch. <laughs> um, I'm actually on time. And I'm not going to be vlogging my drive there because I need the phone for directions. So, yeah, I might vlog during brunch and after brunch. But we shall see. See y'all there. Of course, I'm the one that's on time. But at least I look good. Come I use the drop room. Watch how you talk to me. Two. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Y'all off key. <laughs> <laughs>
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kadish. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Give me the black Happy birthday. Stevie Wonder. Oh, come on. All right, y'all. So I finally did it. After long waiting, I finally got my nails done. So I just got them basically done. A regular nude. I got them shortened. They're nice and natural. You can kind of see them here. You can see them here too. Um, I feel so much better that I can use like I like long nails. Don't get me wrong, because they make my fingers look a lot skinnier. But it's just something about getting them shortened after a while that feels very refreshing and like fresh slate like. But I'm going to share the card with y'all. Here is their information if you want to go. Uh, I went to see Amanda. She's great. We were talking about food and stuff. She's super sweet. So yeah. Um, so definitely check them out. Hello. Candle. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Um, today after Chris's birthday, we had a lot of fun, went to North Italia. I think I'm starting to think I'm allergic to truffle because this is the second time where I felt very nauseous after eating truffle over time. But anyways, we had a lot of fun. Um, he enjoyed himself very much. Um, at this point, I am at Harwin. If you know, if you're from Houston, you know, you know. Um, I'm at Harwin. I'm getting ready to try on some Indian dresses um, for my friend's wedding ceremony that's in April. We're all going to go together. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to bring y'all in with me. Um, I'm feeling a little tired because I just, for, like, my stomach was just going like crazy. And I could barely go to sleep because of it. So. That was a little annoying, but I ended up going to sleep eventually. I got a good, a good amount of sleep. I'm just gonna be chilling in the car because I got here early. She said to meet them around 12.30 and it's like 12.27. So I've just been chilling in the car, hanging out. Um, as you can tell, this is one of my favorite shirts. But anyway, I'm going to wait for my friend. Then we're gonna go in. Um, we're also gonna get some Indian street food and just go from there. I love that, yes. You, these women are definitely strippers. There's this place right here that uh, has uh, has outfits for like performing. And I'm not mad at it because she got her YSL bag and her Mercedes. So girl, do you. I'm not mad at it at all. Like show me your way so I can be racking in that much money too. <laughs> Is that a your process um so we give you our instagram so tiktok instagram facebook is the same on everything it's the creator t-h-e-r-y so it's the create and another E-R-Y at the end. So two E's before the R-Y. Got it. So please tag us. Um, and everyone has a set of their own supplies which I'm gonna go through. You have a few items that you'll be sharing with a partner. So on your right hand side, everyone has a spatula, which is this tool right here. Spatulas. You have a smoother, which is this tool. Okay, smoother. And you have a, a smoother. towel. Towel. On the right hand side, that's all for you. In between you and the person ahead of you, you have scissors, mm -hmm. a leveler, and a marker, which are all for sharing. One set is meant for a pair of people, okay? So the first thing we want you to do is take your marker and write your name at the edge of your cake board, just oh, like cute. you see here. You wanna make sure that it'll be visible 
um, around the cake. So don't put it to where your cake is going to be covered. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a pun, a cake pun. Oh. Yeah. Wait, a cake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming oh, out the top. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Try to be mindful of keeping the food. I was going to keep going. All right, two to three times. I had to squeeze with my dominant hand. So you want to be, should be done putting the icing in the middle. Everyone go ahead and grab your spatula. <laughs> Down to it. Fuck those that don't do it. We do it because we used, used to, to it. it. Drink, motherfucker. Drink. drink. And then you take a shot. <laughs> there you go. Hey. That's my girl. Put some hair. Yep. Get that pen. Hey, I used to say, that's what I need to drink. No, it was kind of warm. Right? Bitch. This is warm. That's warm. Yeah. Oh, like, this is warm. I, I was yeah. made a believer like last well, weekend. I don't really. I am super excited because, well, I'm not that excited. Let me calm down. But I am really excited because my package finally came in. Um, I bought some more perfumes from Oil Perfumery. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Um, but it's called Oud for Greatness. And it's super good. This one is like out of the three that I've gotten. Because I got three of them. This one is Angel. Their impression of Angel Share. Which literally costs nothing at all. And it's an or a oil formula. So it lasts like super long. And it, depending on your body chemistry, it might work really well. I don't know why this is not focusing. Maybe I need to move these out of the way. That looks a little better. All right, so that's Angel Share. I got one that's like a Nishio, and then I got a Jerjoff impression. This one is called Casa Mora, Casa Morati, 1888 Lira. This one, this one is my favorite. It smells so good. It just smells just elegant. It just smells, I, I don't know how to describe scents, but it smells so good like it smells like vanilla like there's a there's a hint of vanilla there there's I'm gonna put it on my hand so I can smell it I don't know what that is but it just smells so good it's like a it's like a fruit a fruitiness to it but it doesn't smell immature it smells I would say this is more of a daytime fragrance Sorry, my um, <laughs> my henna tattoo from my friend's bridal shower um, that was on Saturday. I haven't really been vlogging a lot, y'all. And it is what it is. Because I feel like once I get my laptop, things will be a lot easier. But I did a vlog for a week straight. And it was great. But it was so exhausting trying to edit and do all of the things on my phone. Anyways, I got these three perfumes from Oil Perfumery. And all three of them together cost about $54, so it wasn't like crazy. I feel like that's a good deal for three perfumes, and they last forever. Let me show you how long it's taken me to go through my other ones. Hold on, one second. So these are the other three that I bought um, from Oil Perfumery a long time ago. I would say, when did I buy these? Last year? Um, so this one was Gaiac 10. It's supposed to be like Lilabo Gaiac. I didn't really like this one. I'm not gonna lie, I barely use it. That's why it's like <laughs> kind of full. Um, another one that I like is this one. This one smells so good and it smells exactly like it. Um, the By the Fireplace. And as you can see, I've been using it a lot, but even then, it's still. And then, you know, because I'm basic, I'm basic. I wanted to try the Baccarat, uh, their version of Baccarat. It smells similar, but I mean, they all kind of have their own little remix of it. But even then, these were all very much affordable. I think I got these three for like $40, so less than the other ones that I got. So I'm expanding my perfume collection. I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah. Hey y'all, um, if you're wondering where I'm going, I'm going to the grocery store. What else is new? <laughs> Um, hopefully y'all are having a great Monday. My Monday was actually pretty good. I was extremely tired this morning, but ended up on a good note, just being able to help all of the teachers that I support. 
Um, so it was a long day at work for sure. I was just so tired. If you're wondering what I do, uh, I am an instructional coach and uh, I work in education. So I support I support teachers that uh that are like first year teachers trying to make it through like just life in general. I haven't had a nice session of just unwinding. This weekend was super fun. I went to um, Saturday. I had a bridal shower to go to, and then Sunday I threw a bridal shower, <laughs> a brunch, a bridal brunch for my friend on Sunday, and then right after that I went to a cake and sip. So I did a lot of drinking this weekend. <laughs> well, honestly, just on Sunday, um, and I'm kind of feeling turned off on drinking. I just feel really bloated and really gross. And plus, it's like kind of close to when my cycle's about to hit, so I'm just kind of like, ew. Like, I don't, you know that ick feeling you get? That's how I'm feeling right now. So I'm working through that. I'm gonna figure out something. We're gonna detox. I got some teas at home that I'm gonna just be drinking and getting my life together because, I mean, I had a blast, don't get me wrong. I love socializing and just hanging out with my friends and hanging out with my loved ones. Like, yeah, it's fun, but I feel tired. And I feel a little charred and burnt out. So I am going to get some stuff from the grocery store, unwind, and enjoy the rest of my Monday. So I'll see y'all later. And if you're probably wondering why my hair looks different, it's because I found this awesome video on TikTok where this gorgeous woman was putting her wig <laughs> behind the hairline. And I was like, I've been doing that and I don't know why it's something about that moment just clicked within me I was like why haven't I been doing this so honestly I've been giving my hair a break and I had a nice closure wig already at home so I've just been spraying got to be got to be in it down and just getting it together um and that's what I've been doing my hair is braided up underneath this and that's pretty much the tea on that um yeah, I actually do need to do my hair to figure out what's the next thing I'm gonna do because my new growth is new growth thing. I get my relaxer every 10 weeks. I think I'm gonna extend this one out to 12. Even though my edges look really rough, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I am, I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to go to the grocery store at this time of day because everybody's getting off of work and going to the grocery store like me. I need to hold myself accountable to doing more working out because this isn't gonna cut it. I don't like I don't like feeling feeling gross because I literally feel gross and not gross like oh I hate myself or the way I look. I just feel out of whack, you know, doing all the things that I wanted to do. That part because I'm tedious. I'm tedious and I'm very picky. I'm like that with my music too. Like whenever I work with like a producer or someone that knows how to mix and master, I'm always like, hey, can you highlight this part? Can you highlight that part? And that's why I stopped collaborating with actual people because I would give them my vocal tracks and I would literally sing it the way that I wanted it to sound. I would give them like a reference track and attachment to the like the vocal track. And then they just do whatever the fuck they wanted to do. And I was just like, what the hell? Like, I literally spent all this time recording my voice for you. Just for you to not do anything that I asked you to do. So it's kind of like a slap in the face at that point. Come on, Mustang. Reverse on out. Yeah, I know. Great for me. I love that for me. Anyways, I'm gonna get my stuff and then I'll talk to y'all when I'm on my way out because this is too much. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna stop talking shit. I'm gonna stop coming up with excuses and I'm actually gonna do it. So I'm home now, just came back from the grocery store. Got some Drano, some Barkeeper's Friend because I heard that it's really the goat. And I got some, what are those things called? The scentable things, the, the little things you put in the washing machine to make your food like food. <laughs> Ooh, child. The things you put in your washing machine to make your clothes smell good. I got that. Those are the three things I got. Now I'm gonna go work out for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna see you tomorrow if I can do it for 30. So 15 minutes starts now. 
You definitely need a mat or some space to move. And then if you have a set of three to five pound dumbbells, a resistance band, and a yoga mat, you can stay consistent and keep showing up. This shit had nothing to do with beginners. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I don't sweat a lot, but I am out of breath. That was an intense 10 minutes. Um, here's what I did. Hold on, let me show you. Here's what I did. I did the total body Pilates, but it was a beginner one to get you familiar with the movements, but it didn't feel very beginner. I am out of breath. I have my yoga mat. My yoga socks, these aren't really yoga socks, they're just socks with grippers. I have my resistance bands, my yoga block, cause she was doing some yoga moves. But I did it. Got my heart rate up and it only took 10 minutes. So I'm not mad at that at all. Now, I'm gonna cool down. I'm gonna drink some water and take a shower in like a 30 minutes or so. Just go from there. Hey, happy Tuesday. Good morning. Um, I just left one campus. I'm about to go to another campus. And then my last campus later on today. And then I'm going to get my first Russian manicure. I'm super excited about it. I realized the longevity of my nails are a lot... For some reason, my nails last a lot longer when they're almond shaped. When they're square like this, they start breaking off. Or maybe it was a nail tech. I don't know, because it's already starting to break off right here right here like in the corner so yeah i'm gonna go to a couple more campuses for my day and then check in with those teachers and then later on today around three i'm gonna go get my rush of manicure hopefully get some food in between i did my workout yesterday i felt so tired this morning um and yeah today is gonna be a good day though just gotta boost myself up. This gloomy weather is not helping, but just gotta boost yourself up, you know? So today will be a good day. Hopefully y'all's is a great day as well. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out a better sleep schedule because waking up the way that I feel every morning is not it. Um, maybe I need to drink more water because this morning I was so exhausted, but it's all good. I will see y'all later you don't mean this if you can write this i'm sorry wait Please. okay of course thank you, I need you mean okay no worries you're good thank you so much. needless to say it's a couple minutes late but it's okay she let me get taken care of anyways i will let y'all know later what how it goes but i'll see y'all later Mm -hmm. a vacuum massage and scrub oh wow body. nice yes. like a full body massage yeah. okay and this uh, i'm sorry i don't know oh wow English, yes, yeah yes, for your anti program too and uh -huh. uh, good for your immune system right so lymphatic yes. lymphatic kind of yeah. awesome and wow <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty. That's nice. Okay, you do lashes. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. I'll press the door for your skin. Your hair Perfect. and uh, laser removal mm -hmm. uh, and uh, injection uh, mm -hmm. 
buttocks and <laughs> any crusted over. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> That's cool. I'm so sorry for my no, English. don't apologize. It's totally fine. This is really cool that y'all offer so many services. And coloring. Oh, for your hair. Yes. Nice. Yes. Wow. Y'all do it all. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know I was hesitant about the nails, but they are absolutely amazing. Like, let me flip the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. Like, look at my cuticle. It don't even want to focus. Like, my cuticle is so neat. And they're so affordable. Now, it does take forever. My appointment was at 3. I got seen around 3.20. And I didn't leave until 6.05. And the drive there was like a 30-minute drive. So I'm just now making it home. But even then, it's still worth it. So I'll leave their information so you can check them out for yourselves. But I'm definitely coming back.